One of the first challenges you are faced with when you start kayaking is, how do I get my boat to the water? There's almost as many ways to transport your boat as there are types of vehicles. To help us get this all sorted out, let's head down to our local outfitter. We're here in the heart of the Vista in Columbia, South Carolina to visit our favorite outfitter, River Runner. Let's head inside. Hi, I'm April with Whitewater 101 for the Virtual River Academy. We're here in downtown Columbia, South Carolina at River Runner talking with Jesse a little bit about vehicle racks for transporting kayaks. So Jesse, thanks so much for agreeing to meet with us. And to get us started, can you just tell us about different options, different types of racks for carrying whitewater boats? Sure. Um, well, the, the main way you're gonna wanna carry a boat is gonna be on top of your car. We're gonna go look at the top of their roof, see if they have any type of rack system already installed, which a lot of them these days do, a lot of SUVs. Um, even a lot of sporty sedans usually have parallel roof racks already installed on them. Um, if they do have something like that installed, you're going to go with some, a setup like this, which is very, very easy to set up on any vehicle. Straps around it, bolts down, and you've got crossbars. Um, if you don't have anything up there, you're going to go with more of a setup that actually has pads that go on the roof, clips that clip in, the doors actually open, and the clip clamps into the door jam. On something like this, it's gonna be a much more proprietary setup to where there's hundreds of clips out there and you have to get the exact right one that fits that vehicles. So once we have the crossbar set up, um, what kind of accessories will I need on top of that? Well, it's a good idea to have an accessory that's actually gonna hold on to the boat. Um, it not only secures it on to the vehicle a lot better, but it also protects the boat. You can put it on its side on something like this. This would, a lot of people call something like this a J-Rack. This one specifically is called the J-Low. Um, once you get done paddling, you can go put your boat up in here. It'll rest there without falling down before you even strap it down. You can put your gear in your car, then come back and strap it down. If you want to carry multiple boats, this has the option to become known what's a stacker. So you're going to put your first boat right in here, go ahead and strap it down, and then you can put multiple boats on the other side and then sandwich them all together. Once I decide what style I want, um, where do I need to go to find something that's compatible with my vehicle? Well, the best thing to do is going to be go to somebody that deals with it, you know, on a daily basis, somewhere like River Runner here to where we can take the model via, you know, model, make a model of your vehicle. We'll go in, figure out exactly what it needs. We'll check out the roof to see what it already has, see what we need to add to it. Um, and we usually keep everything in stock as well. Um, if you want to go ahead and get an idea of what you think your vehicle needs, you can go online to yakima.com uh, just load in all your information with your vehicle and it'll tell you exactly what you need. And so once I've ordered and I've gotten all my um, equipment that I, that I want, um, should I try to install that myself or do you recommend seeking out someone to help? Obviously this is an important, a very important part of your vehicle. Um, you're going to be going down the interstate with a kayak on your roof and if it flies off that's not going to be good. So if you're mechanically inclined, um, it's a great idea to read through all the instructions, attempt it yourself, then you're going to understand how it works. If you need to tweak and tune it down, down the road, if, that, if that's something that needs to happen, you'll be able to do that. Um, but if you just don't feel comfortable, obviously coming to a place like this, we'll, we'll set it up for you. When you sell people um, vehicle racks, how often are you installing them for them? I would say probably 75 to 80% of all the roof racks we sell, we end up installing them as well. What kind of straps or ropes do you recommend I use? Well, we actually recommend, we call these cam straps. If you push open the cam, get these started, they'll come in, and then once you get it secure, you pull it. It self tightens, but it won't release until you push that button. Um, one thing about these, you don't have to worry about making a mistake with a knot. 
and which makes them pretty pretty uh, foolproof. Um, and you can actually feel the amount of pressure that you're putting on that kayak call, which is important. Um, which is another thing we don't we don't recommend ratchet straps because you never really know how much pressure you're putting on that hole, and you will damage it. Well, thank you so much for all the information. All right, now it's time to load some boats. Let's start off by taking a look at a few different rack systems. The first rack setup we're going to look at is the saddle with rollers. This is a great setup if you're by yourself and need to load your boat on top of a tall vehicle like an SUV. The downside is they take up a lot of space, so you're not able to carry as many boats. As you can see, the system is made up of two parts, the saddle in the front and a roller system in the back. To get started, simply place the hull of the boat on the back of the vehicle behind the rollers. I recommend placing a piece of carpet or a towel to make sure you don't scratch up your car in the process. Then lift the boat by the stern and slide it forward until it settles into the saddle. At this point, your boat should be sitting squarely in the rack system. Now it's time to strap it down. There are two ways to strap the boat into a saddle system. One is to feed the strap through the channel in the saddle and tighten your boat down to the saddle itself. The second method is to run the strap underneath the crossbar and bring the end up to meet the buckle on top of the boat, tightening the strap down directly to the crossbar. Secure any loose ends and you're ready to go. Our next type of accessory is the kayak cradles. These are J-shaped devices that hold the kayak on edge and also offer a secure loop at the top, which is used as a tie-down point. Feed the straps through the loops first so you don't have to work around the boat once it's in place. The cradle system is great if you're working alone because the cradles hold the boat in place. You don't need an extra set of hands to steady the boat while you work. Position the boat on its edge, centered between the two cradles. Bring both ends of the first strap around and over top of the boat. Run the tail end of the strap under the crossbar behind the tower and feed it into the buckle. Be sure to feed the tail from the back of the buckle to the front. When fed correctly, the buckle will not allow the strap to loosen unless the gate is opened. When fed incorrectly, the strap will be very difficult to tighten and will come loose under the slightest pressure. Adjust the buckle above your head so you can easily pull straight down to tighten the strap. Don't tighten it completely until you get the other strap secured and reasonably tight. Over tightening one strap can squeeze the kayak and cause it to shift out of position. Repeat the process with the other strap, then tighten both straps uniformly. Take care to avoid over tightening as this can deform the boat. You can wrap and tie the ends of the straps around the crossbars or close the straps in the door. Just be sure either way that the ends are secured. The stacker system includes two vertical bars with either loops or arrowheads at the top. Each vertical piece is known as a stacker and offers support for the kayak as well as a tie-down point. Place one strap around each arrowhead stacker or through the loops if available. Place the boat directly onto the crossbars, either on your own or with a friend as shown here. The crossbars are the least stable platform we're discussing today, so it is nice to have someone to help balance the kayak on edge. The advantage of the stacker system is that you can place multiple boats side by side on the crossbars. This saves you both space and money if you need to carry more than one boat at a time. Bring the straps around the boat and run one strap through the security loop on the boat if available. Then run the end of each strap under its crossbar. In this example, we're only loading one boat, so it's best to run the strap around the stacker and back under the crossbar once more to keep the boat up on edge during transport. If you load two boats side by side, they should take up enough space so that running the strap under just the crossbar is sufficient. Like always, feed the strap through the buckle and tighten. Here's another look at how we set up the strap for only one boat. Think of it as a figure eight pattern that snugs the boat tightly against the vertical stacker. Before you tighten everything down, always make sure the strap is secured under both sides of the arrowhead. Sometimes the strap will slip and end up around only one side. If that happens, just slide the strap back underneath and make sure it's secure on both sides. 
Now that we've got our boats loaded up, let's head to the river. And after all that hard work, it's finally time to hit the water. 